into the water. This abundance of basic food, the entire food chain benefits. It's no wonder this place draws the ocean's top predator, the killer whale. Hi, I'm Jack Hanna, and I've been fortunate to have traveled the world. And this is one of my favorite spots on Earth. Today our global journey will take us to several locations, from Shannon Stadium, to Alaska, Norway and the Coastal Islands and the Southern Indian Ocean. Shamu will help show us how killer whales have adapted to each of these areas, as well as allow us to share in the beauty and majesty of the top predator of the sea. an experience that allows you to be a part of the discoveries we make every day. Not just here at SeaWorld, but all over the globe, as experts, scientists, and researchers continue to explore the world of the killer whale. Now, over the years, we discovered a creature that has the ability to acclimate or change its behavior in order to thrive and flourish in various environments. Some of those elaborate behaviors are best exhibited when killer whales are hunting as a team. Jack Hanna takes us to Norway, where researchers have observed the perfected skills of killer whales on the hunt. Hey, Vorten Hardedet. In Norwegian, that means hi, how are you? I'm here in the cold Norwegian sea on the coast of Andenes, Norway, a couple of hundred miles north of the Arctic Circle. Life here is very harsh, but even in this environment, killer whales come to hunt in a fascinating way. They prey on great schools of herring with an incredible amount of teamwork. In these waters, herring are found in vast numbers. They travel in huge schools consisting of thousands of fish. The killer whales here work together to surround the herring and tighten them into a dense circle. The fish appear to be confused and don't know which way to go. From the ocean's top predator, there is no escape.
as a few whales keep the school corralled together, others swim in and stun the herring with powerful sweeps of their large tail flukes. This unique team behavior allows for an easy feast for the killer whales. Killer whales are the top of the ocean's food chain, not only because of their extraordinary teamwork, but because of two physical adaptations. Their powerful tail flukes and their large, conical shaped teeth. for slapping, tossing, throwing, and stunning. This injures or weakens their prey into a defensive state. It makes the pursuit that much easier. Now, Shamo doesn't choose food. He uses large, conical-shaped teeth for ripping and tearing, and swallowing his food whole. Check out this behavior. we developed over the years with Shamu has created other highly skilled teams as well. Every trainer that works here must respect the power, strength, and intelligence of these animals. With that basis and understanding, we work toward building a relationship. What we present here is a result of years of one-on-one -on -one interactions that has created a special bond between animal and trainer. And only with mutual respect can the actions of Jeff, Shamu, Ken, and baby Shamu be accomplished here today. What we're all about to discover is that all the time these four spend together can be very fun and playful, but also very special.
job is building a relationship with each animal. It's not easy, it takes time, and not everyone picks it up right away. Today we're going to give a couple of you an opportunity to build a relationship with our whales. From Georgia is Amanda and her dad, Calvin. Well, that's right, I've got Amanda right here. Amanda, why don't you turn around and wave at everybody? How about a nice round of applause for Amanda? Comes all the way from Georgia. Amanda, we're going to give you a chance to be one of our other whales. We're going to put Shannon over here. This ought to be a lot of fun. We're going to build your relationship up with him by rubbing him down, giving him some signals, and just have a lot of fun, okay? So we'll go ahead and have him come up right now. I think he's on his way. Shannon here weighs about 5,000 pounds. So Amanda, once you reach right out there, you can start rubbing him down on the back, start building that relationship up. Your skin is very soft and sensitive, and they really seem to enjoy our touch. And this is one of the ways we can tell the whales how much we really care for them. Amanda, what's he feel like? Kind of soft. A lot of people even say they feel like rubber. You know what else you can do, Amanda? You can let your fingers through the walk through the yellow pages just like this. And I think he'll roll right over for you. There you go. Keep on rubbing it down there, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, you're doing great over here. I'll tell you what, you're doing so well. We're going to check in on the other side, see your dad's doing baby shampoo. That's right. I've got Cal over here. Cal, I'm going to have you get to know baby shampoo, but before we do that, why don't you turn around and say hi to all those folks out there? Hey, Cal, now, why don't you say hi to Baby Shamu? So, put your hands out like this. Throw them up over your head. Throw your hands over your head, Cal, and wave a little bit away, Cal. <laughs> Cal, I think even Baby Shamu is laughing at you. <laughs> she really likes is a nice back rub. So I'll tell you what, she's gonna come in nice and close for us. There you go, reach out there and give her a nice back rub. She loves that. Yeah, Cal, I think she likes you. Maybe not. Oh, was that you? You know what, I got an idea. I'm gonna have Cal feed baby shampoo. So here, why don't you take that, just toss it right in. Perfect! Oh, where is she going with that fish? Right. Hey, Shabu, I got some for you. Are you can have it. I don't want to hear it. You take it back. Well, there's having too much fun out here, Liz. You want us to keep going over you here? You better just keep it going and wrap it up. All right, I tell you what, Amanda, I'm going to go ahead and let you give Shabu a signal, okay? So why don't you spin around in a circle? We'll see if you can get that from And you can stop, because look at that. You're dancing the killer. How about that? Great job. Let's try another one. This time what I want you to do is take both hands like this and wave them at him. And look at that. He's waving back at you. Kill the well stop. Great job. Hey, what a man. Let's go ahead and reinforce and reward Shamu. That was really good. Here, once you take these, you can throw them right in his mouth. And here's another one. And one more. And I think we've got one more thing we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and let you give Shamu a great big hug, okay? So I'm going to have him come right up here. Why don't you reach out to wrap your arms around him. Get nice and close. All right, Amanda. How about a nice round of applause for Amanda? She was a great volunteer. Hey, Amanda, I think I'm going to give your dad one more try over here. I'm going to have you give baby Shamu a kiss goodbye, okay? So put your left hand over your mouth. Who her a big kiss? She's a big whale. Big kiss. There you go. All right, she's on her way. Cal, put your cheek up against the glass, okay? Now this side, so she can kiss you. But I want to get a picture of it, so look at the camera up there for me, okay? Okay, Cal, don't move, all right? Stay right there. Didn't it, Julie? It sure did, Jack. But we shouldn't forget the fact that Shamu and all killer whales possess amazing abilities that demand respect. That's true. And in their quest for survival, killer whales are fierce and skilled hunters. Depending on what type of animal they're pursuing, the whales have mastered different methods to catch their prey. In the southern hemisphere off the coast of Patagonia, killer whales haul themselves out onto the beach to feed on young sea lions. 
And on the other side of the world, 2,500 miles off the coast of South Africa, lie the coastal islands. Here, the whales are observed teaching their young different hunting techniques. One method is to hide among the kelp beds to sneak up on their prey. These thick beds provide an excellent hiding place for the patient killer whales. At the right moment, the unsuspecting penguins are plucked from the kelp. The second method taught to the young whales is to intentionally beach themselves to hunt elephant seals off the shore. Because of the risk of being stranded, the calf's mother often helps him in returning to deeper water. After a lot of practice, the end result is a successful catch. This hunting is additional proof of Shamu's true potential. Trainers like Lisa and Pete, who spend a number of years working with these whales, are aware of the power and strength of these animals every moment they spend together. It is this regard for Shamu, along with the knowledge, skills, and training techniques we use, provides opportunities you can see nowhere else but right here at SeaWorld. And this is your chance to see extraordinary teamwork in action. Pete and Lisa have worked with Shamu and Baby Shamu for over 10 years. During that time, they have trained, played, and sometimes just hung out together. One of the results is their ability to perform with a high level of skill and cooperation. So ladies and gentlemen, focus their attention on these four. Prepare to show off some of our most spectacular behavior.
Today, we've gone worldwide in an effort to appreciate and understand more about the killer whale. The great part is that your experience doesn't have to end. Visiting us online at Shamu.com will keep your global journey an ongoing adventure. The website includes your experience here today through highlights taken from this show. Speaking of highlights, it's time to hand it back to Shamu because you haven't seen all the action just yet. We can't wait to see the expression of all the folks about to be showered with 55 degrees salt water. Yes, sir!